Today's episode is sponsored by Spartan Chemical Company, a leader in cleaning and sanitation solutions for the industrial and institutional markets. At Spartan Chemical, we make clean simple. For more information, visit SpartanChemical.com. As a cleaning industry professional, whether in manufacturing, distribution, or you're engaged in cleaning buildings or facilities, you want products that work. You want products that are part of a green cleaning or sustainable program as a responsible professional. Products that are safer for human health and the environment. So the question is, how do you do that? How do you make that happen? Well, today on Straight Talk, we're going to dig into a topic that will address this and help you with your questions that you might have about products in the industry and your goals. Let's get started. So today we're going to discuss the EPA Safer Choice Program, what it is and how the industry can use it strategically. And I'd like to welcome our guest today, David Wadowski, the Division Director with the Office of Chemical Safety and Pollution Prevention with the EPA, and Jenny Romer, the Deputy Assistant Administrator for Pollution Prevention at the EPA. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. A yeah, very important topic today. Um, let's just get into our questions and learn about this program that's so important for the industry. So can you share with us some history of the EPA Safer Choice Program, who it's for and what it does? Sure, I'll start off. Uh, so Safer Choice is an EPA partnership program that certifies cleaning and other products made with ingredients that are safer for people and the planet. And products must meet EPA's criteria for safer ingredients, sustainable packaging and performance to earn the Safer Choice label. Safer Choice is really all about helping consumers and businesses find products with safer ingredients. We know that there's a lot of interest in these products uh, from retail consumers like you and me all the way up to the largest business and institutional purchasers. Manufacturers really want to differentiate themselves in the marketplace and highlight their leadership and using safer ingredients and advancing sustainability. And, and Safer Choice really serves all of those interests. David, do you wanna give a little bit more background? Sure, the history of uh, Safer Choice program at EPA actually starts back in the 1990s with some real concerns about providing safer cleaning products for cleaning service professionals. Uh, and it grew into the program that it is today, which includes uh, opportunities for everybody uh, in the United States and indeed in other countries as well to identify, utilize, and take advantage of EPA's certification and our deep wealth of knowledge when it comes to understanding the safety and hazard associated with chemicals uh, in cleaning and other kinds of products. You know, like any program out there, there's always a hiccup here and there. So talk to us about the challenges or perhaps misconceptions that the program has faced and overcome. Well, I think that one challenge is overcoming the idea that conventional products uh, work better than greener or more environmentally or eco-friendly products. Um, so to earn the Safer Choice label, Products are tested for, for performance and to show that they work just as well as conventional products. So consumers and businesses can have the best of both worlds. They can have, uh, with the Safer Choice uh, label, they can have products that work well and have ingredients that are safer for families, pets, workers, and the environment. So we worked hard to overcome 
that challenge. In the world of eco labels uh, and um, environmental labels, currently there are almost 500 eco labels in the marketplace, so it can get confusing. And so one of the challenges that we have sometimes is people ask, what is a safer choice label and what does it represent? And so what we've tried to do, and I think we've done successfully, is to provide detailed information on the specific and stringent criteria that EPA use in establishing our product labeling program, sharing that with retailers, with distributors, with manufacturers, and creating more and more awareness. And I think what we've seen now is an increasing awareness of the value proposition that Safer Choice brings to the market and brings to consumers and users. Okay, uh, can you talk to us about some of the product requirements, the more important ones, and how do you ensure compliance with those who submit products for the program? Uh, sure, EPA invests a lot of time and energy into this uh, because I think everyone can agree that the integrity of the label is critically important. Uh, the heart of the, the Safer Choice label. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Now so some up here. Is the Safer Choice standard. It gets, gets pretty technical, but basically uh, this is where we lay out what it means to be a Safer Choice certified. And our standard includes... Uh, requirements for safer chemical ingredients, performance, ingredient disclosure, sustainable packaging, uh, volatile or organic compounds or VOCs and pH. A couple of important points. Uh, first, we review every ingredient down to the chemical level to make sure that only the safest possible ingredients are included. And then we focus our review on chemicals uh, in key environmental and health and human health areas of concern based on the function of the chemical. So think solvents, surfactants, chelating agents, and, and so on. Uh, this approach allows manufacturers to use safer ingredients uh, while still formulating really high performing products. To uh, expand a little bit on what Jenny mentioned, when we talk about EPA stringent requirements, we have criteria for human health toxicity and ecological toxicity, persistence, bioaccumulation toxicity. These are scientific concepts that we use EPA's really deep wealth of knowledge uh, in the area of chemical safety. We rely on a large number of scientists at EPA to support the work that we're doing as we identify, as Jenny said, the safest ingredients that are available for use in these products. And as Jenny also mentioned, every single ingredient is included in our analysis. There are no passes, there are no de minimises, there are no minimal levels that don't require our certification and our evaluation. And so when somebody is looking at potentially partnering with or using Safer Choice products in whatever context, they can know that no matter how small the concentration of a particular ingredient or ingredient component is, it has been evaluated by EPA. We also assure compliance through ongoing audits. And so it's not one and done. You've got a partner and the products that are certified through those partner companies are evaluated every year and every three years, we do an on-site audit as well. And so when people consider the Safer Choice label, they can rely not only on EPA science, but our rigorous and our ongoing evaluation and continuous improvement in that program through the continuous evaluation and audits that we do on those partners, making sure that the marketplace is confident in the Safer Choice label. Yeah, I can see how that would all work and build that confidence. Thank you for that. This takes a little time to speak directly to manufacturers about why they should be involved and why they should submit, should submit their products for certification. Can you do that? Yes. Um, first, let me say I'm so proud of our existing partnerships with manufacturers in the Safer Choice program, uh, representing nearly 2,000 products. Uh, and we see a lot of potential for this program to bring in new manufacturers. Uh, I should say I'm the first deputy assistant administrator for pollution prevention and Safer Choice is one of the one of the programs in my portfolio that I'm particularly excited about. And I've gotten to go out into the field and and meet with several of our manufacturers um, and really happy to see more coming on board. And I see uh, three 
main reasons why manufacturers should partner with Safer Choice. Uh, the first is, like I said, market differentiation. And so Safer Choice is really a way to communicate to consume to customers about something that they want. Our survey data shows that when consumers are aware of the benefits of Safer Choice certified products, 81% are interested in using that label to inform their purchases. And then second is that Safer Choice offers expertise in, uh, in Safer Chemicals to complement manufacturers' existing product formulation. This means that we can help you make a switch um, to, to Safer Chemical Alternatives. And then lastly is that Safer Choice is um, respected. It's a respected verification for Safer Chemistry. It's one of the eco-labels that federal purchasers will use to identify sustainable products. Uh, which they've been directed to do uh, through a recent executive order issued by President Biden to increase the sustainability of federal supply chains. I'm going to expand on that just a little bit. I think one of the things that manufacturers recognize or increasingly recognizing that they are part of the value chain of an increasing segment of the market. And that market segment is for safer and cleaner and environmentally friendly products. And what we're seeing, even in markets that have flat overall uh, production uh, and procurement, the share of those markets that are going to safer and sustainable uh, cleaning products and other kinds of uh, chemical products is increasing. And so being able to be part of that value chain, whether it's direct consumers uh, through distributors to institutional uh, and industrial users or to cleaning service providers, there is a huge opportunity for those manufacturers to participate in that value proposition, whether it's directly to their customers or indirectly through what their customers are offering uh, to the market. So good information. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, we spoke about manufacturers, but you know, they're not the ones using the product. So can you speak to those end users who would purchase these and use these products from your program? And what we're seeing is across the board, there's more and more interest, as I mentioned, in the market and the access to safer and sustainable products, whether they be clean products or the other kinds of products that are certified by Safer Choice. And we list on our website a number of those different product categories. What they see from using these is not only, as Jenny mentioned earlier, yeah, they work. Uh, they work as well or better uh, than some of the incumbent products out there. And they're price competitive in many, if not all cases. And they are backed by EPA's science. They're backed uh, by our reputation. They're backed by the commitment that we make in order to assure that the market has the safest and most sustainable products out there. I also want to jump in and emphasize that cleaning service providers also have a tremendous interest in Safer Choice. The using certified using products certified by Safer Choice is a great way to reduce risk and make a safer workplace for employees. And it's a can be a great service to customers. Uh, for instance, Safer Choice restricts the use of VOCs to minimize indoor air pollution and respiratory concerns. Using Safer Choice certified products can help um, existing buildings earn points towards their lead status. And these are so there's just a few examples of how Safer Choice can benefit businesses and people using those the products. Yeah, makes sense. So looking at the future, what do you envision this program doing? What do you anticipate? I, like I said, I'm really excited about this program and looking at ways um, to use our existing resources to um, see see how we how we can where we can push forward. So we're always working uh, to advance uh, safer chemistry and expand the reach of our programs. And whether that's more end users or seeking out seeking out our products or more manufacturers working to reformulate their products with safer alternatives. Um, so we're we're looking to do uh, doing some communications pushes that you will be seeing uh, over the next year. And we have a lot of momentum in the program right now and looking to expand into new product uh, product sectors and last year and also products. Um, product lines. Last year, we certified uh, cleaners to be used in automatic car washes. 
And so we're looking at what else makes sense for the program to grow. I think we're, as Jenny said, we're looking at where the markets are moving, where the demand is, and what the value proposition is for those markets in terms of safer chemical products as certified by Safer Choice. And so keeping our ear to the ground, uh, having a, a lot of doing a lot of networking and reaching out in multiple dimensions to those potential markets, we're trying to keep up with those markets and provide what is valuable and what would be useful as uh, as they engage in and expand their market shares for safer chemical products. Okay. So I I think the last thing we need to do is kind of a call to action. So what are your thoughts? What do you want those watching this now, whether it's manufacturers, distribution, or end users to do right now? Uh, Well, first off, I'd urge folks who are tuning in to learn more about Safer Choice. Uh, and so you can take a look at our website, epa.gov slash safer choice. We have useful information on how to get involved. You can see the full list of our certified products and companies. And second, you can reach out to us by emailing saferchoice at epa.gov. We're happy to engage with manufacturers and end users. And uh, whether you make cleaning products or whether you use them at home or work, uh, we can help you with advancing safer chemistry. And uh, we feel like there's so much potential for Safer Choice and we're really committed to make that impact even bigger. So thank you so much for for having us on to to talk about this. And we um, look forward to, to people reaching out. I would just add one more thing, Jeff, and that is that we've made a lot of effort to increase the access and accessibility of our Safer Choice resources and websites. And so we have a whole section of Safer Choice in Espanol, the Spanish language portion of our website, for those organizations uh, and individuals that feel more comfortable exploring the Safer Choice opportunities in Spanish. I commend them uh, and I commend you uh, to look at those, uh, to our broad set of resources that are online. And if you have any questions, just call us. Well, thank you both for being here today, providing this information and for what you do with the program. Good work. Thank you so much, Jeff.